several jobs. I played with the symphony, I played the Royal Hawaiian Hotel, I played for dances, I led music at the university and the musical orchestra. So I made enough money to put myself through medical school. And I, went, I asked him if I could have another year's training, and he said, he said, no, Cloward, he said, I've taught you all I know, and from now on, everything you learn, you're going to learn by the school of hard knocks. Uh, he said, you go on out there to Hawaii, and if you get problems, uh, it, you'll have to solve them yourself. Well, of course, Dr. Penfield was, uh, uh, was far above all the rest of them. About being meticulous. Yeah, meticulous. Very, very careful, very tender surgeon. Of course, he was doing all these big brain operations and stimulations under local anesthesia and talking to the patient while he's operating. Uh, real, real gentleman, uh, and a, a real scholar. I think Dr. Walter Dandy was, uh, I would consider probably the roughest surgeon of the bunch. And that was surprising to me because Dr. Dandy wrote so much and he wrote many books and many papers and he had the, probably the world's greatest medical illustrator. Yes. And the, the pictures and the illustrations in all of his publications uh, Everything was just so beautiful and so precise that I expected his surgery to look like the pictures in his books, and it was just the opposite. In 1940 was the first time I took the disc out and replaced it with a bone. My paper was accepted by my brethren at the Harvey Cushing Society uh, with uh, stone silence. Disbelief? Absolute. Not only disbelief, but disagreement. I, I got no applause, I got no comment. What do you think was the main issue of contention? Well, the main issue of contention was expressed by my friend Jimmy Watts, who came from Virginia, and with his broad southern accent, he got up and said, and I quote, We are neurosurgeons, and as such, we should confine our activities to the trefine and the rangeur and leave the hammer and the chisel to the orthopedic surgeon. And he got a standing ovation. There was always a lot of controversy about my approach to the anterior cervical.